I overcame my anger in God's power through many ways, through reading books about parenting, through reading books about disciplining children effectively, through sharing with my uh, Bible study group so that they would pray for me and hold me accountable. So little by little, the Lord revealed tools. And, uh, but the final thing that contributed, especially in our marriage, was when God told me to think in my mind, I love you, as I look to Larry. Mm-hmm. And I resisted that. I didn't want to do it. But when I did, it began the process of healing our marriage because I released my unreal ex- unrealistic expectations that Larry was supposed to be who I thought he should be and I could control him. Okay, so was the the anger, which apparently it was around before you and Larry got married, I would imagine. So you had this anger problem. So was the anger driving all of these negative feelings toward Larry, or was that feeding into the anger and making it stronger? Or was it kind of a combination of both that the the anger and the negative, the other negative emotions were actually just playing off of each other and causing all sorts of chaos? Well, since life is so complex, it was a combination, as you said. Yeah, it was a combination of anger all the way from childhood where I hit my best friend, Irene, right in the nose in third grade. I mean, looking back, I can see those anger tendencies. And then I went into marriage thinking that Larry was my Prince Charming, my unrealistic expectations got a hold of me then. And so when he decided, well, I'm married, who has to invest in the relationship? Then I felt left behind all the anger I had before, piled up, And then, of course, this little girl comes along, and she's not doing everything I expect. And so it's a big conglomeration Hmm. of a lot of things that are very complex and complicated. All right, Kathy, let's let's narrow it down now with respect to, not I guess, to the here and now. For someone that is having an anger struggle, maybe not to the extent that you had, but again, sinful anger. Whether it's no matter what the magnitude, it's still sinful. (laughs) So someone in the here and now is experiencing that either just outright allowing it to control them. Maybe they're acting on those tendencies periodically. Maybe they just feel angry all the time, whatever the degree. So what could you narrow it down maybe to one of the tools that you found to be most effective with respect to dealing with your own anger? Thank you, Bob. I would love to, because one key thing that I did, which was very practical, is to take and write Bible verses about anger on uh, post-it or cards, and I put them in significant places in my home. And so when I would take our daughter into the bathroom for her spanking, which I learned to do in control. I learned to do it without anger. I did it peacefully and re- restorative. And so there was Proverbs 15:1 that says, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up strife. And so then I would have a different Bible verse on my mirror as, uh, so that I could meditate on that when I put my makeup on in the morning. And I would have a different verse that was right in front of me as I did the dishes, and it encouraged me to think rightly. And then along with that was believing, God has not forsaken me. He has not given up on me. And even if I fall back into sin, he knows the plan. He's not discouraged. He's not thinking, oh, no, how am I going to deal with this? He still loves me, and he still loves the listener who is listening to you right now, Bob, and thinking, but, but God has given up on me. He has not.